Welcome back, Everyday Business Leaders. I'm Melanie Ake, your host for today's show, coming to you from JP the Geek Studio in Greenwood, Indiana. We're thrilled to have you with us today as we have someone you want to meet, so sit on the edge of your seat. We're going to connect and celebrate another remarkable business leader from our very own community who's redefining the way we think and grow and has been for decades. Remember to subscribe to our channel so you never miss a notification or an episode. Today, we're going to meet Mr. David Maurer with Aspire Johnson County. Well, thank you for having me. I'm looking forward to this uh, this moment here. So oh, great. this moment. Exactly. Yes, exactly. This moment. Maurer's moments. Well, I guess so. <laughs> Maybe, uh, yeah, we may have to define that in a different way by the end of the day. But yes, great, oh. to, great to be here. Thanks. This is awesome. You know, I ha- I didn't know the David Maurer until... Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, don't oversell me here, okay? <laughs> Until we joined Aspire yes. last year. Yeah. And then I got to know you and I said, we should have coffee because yes. I really wanted to understand the man behind the jacket, behind the smile, behind those eyes Okay, of who connects everybody. Well, thank you. It's so important because yeah. I am a leadership coach and I believe that leadership is influence. I would agree. And it all starts with who you know, what you're doing to connect right. those people, but the heart of why you're doing what you're doing. And that's key, mm-hmm. the heart. I mean, that really differentiates myself from others and in actually wanting to give back and help others elevate themselves by teaching, sharing, mentoring, and all the other positive attributes that bring in positive influence to another individual's life. So It's amazing to watch you, and I think, you know... <laughs> I want to hear some of the stories during this interview because we've got such a great time together. But I want you to right now commit that you're going to come back and be a friend of the show. I will be a friend of the show. I'll be a friend of both you and Joe. So that's (laughs) always a great opportunity moving forward. So thank you. Awesome. Well, you are involved in probably many of the organizations that are here in Johnson County, Indianapolis, Marion (laughs) County, (laughs) and Mm -hmm. beyond. Yep. Because you started in a business that you were helping people in their homes with insurance. Exactly. Talk to us about, I know you were in Franklin and uh, you went to Franklin College. Right. Talk to us about when you left Franklin College, what did you do that made you so intentional about helping people? Well, sometimes people fall forward. (laughs) I fell forward when I graduated from Franklin College in 1984 it was still, we were still under kind of the Carter recession and jobs were still somewhat limited, but I ended up working for an insurance company. And in that career I developed, I morphed, I learned a lot about life and I developed myself to saying, what does it take to become a successful insurance agent? And I found in that world of growing, I found myself realizing it's very simple, be dependable, live up to your word and be honest. And so that was kind of my mantra moving forward as I morphed into being a successful agent, if you will, in the Johnson County, Indianapolis area for almost 30 years. Mm -hmm. You can take those lessons though, David, and apply those to anything, right? We say if you're cross-training somebody, those foundational principles will work with anything. Exactly. And that's lost today. It's a lost art in our culture today, in our society, for a variety of reasons. Mm -hmm. But we need to help instill those back into the youth that are coming up through the ranks of the school system, through the education system, and as they're launching their lives. So those are the things that hopefully you, myself, and others will be able to pass on and share and help those individuals develop to become the person God would have them to be. So I would say if you have a vision like this, you can see things from 30,000 feet up. Correct. And part of your journey has been you're a pilot, too. It, well, yes. yes. <laughs> and I think that helps, right? You, yeah. Sometimes when you have this big vision, you can say, I can see things that maybe other people can't. Yep. So what encouraged you? And I know some of this comes from your heart, right? You right. don't know where it's going to take you, but your wife's yep. a pilot. You're a pilot. Yep. Talk to us about when did that happen? When did you say... I think I want to do this. Well, coincidentally, we have a family of pilots in our Jenny's family as well and such. But I think it's a great illustration. Um, I always had an aviation interest, but a little caveat that very few people knew about or know about is I was afraid to fly. 
Until now. Until, well, <laughs> until, yeah, I'm fly, we're flying it by the, right now. But with that being said, so uh, finally, a dear friend of mine asked me to go uh, flying in front of a bunch of young gals who were my, my peers in high school <laughs> in front of them, and I couldn't say no. Mm-hmm. So I ended up going up in an airplane for the first time, I think, in 1978, and I became an aviation enthusiast at that moment. However, I wanted to be an airline pilot, so I, my parents gave me, for a graduation present from high school, gave me a flying lessons. So I pursued that, got my license in May on May 1st, 1981, and such. And that, even though I'm not a professional pilot, obviously, but that opportunity connected me with so many other individuals, including my wife, mm-hmm. because I met my wife at an air show. And, and a couple of our shows, actually. And since ni- uh, the summer of 1983, we've been together ever since. So, oh, that's yeah. so sweet. So, what yeah. a great love story. So that's 40 years this year? Actually, about 42 years from when I got my license. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Well, thank you. And we're both IFR-rated pilots as well. But the key is what a lot of people fail to realize, that the world of aviation, there are so many systems in place to keep the, the pilot, the passenger safe, as well as the airport management and all that. But many of those applications in life, or in the aviation apply to life. Mm-hmm. So that transfer of knowledge has really played out and paid off for me over the years. You know, one being in the aviation saying is, in God we trust, everything else we check. And so, <laughs> you know, I've done that over the years to verify and to be able to have some prudence when looking into doing something or pursuing something. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, to check it out. That's so funny. It reminds me in high school, I had this teacher at Greenwood High School, okay. Steve Lang. I know the name. Okay. So he always told us in algebra and Glenn Rice would sit behind me and yep. I would say, Glenn, I don't, I don't get this. And Mr. Lang would say, solve and check. You know, Mm -hmm. he had this big voice, and and he was really unique in his voice. And so everything that I do now, right? But it is the same application, the fundamentals of if you do something and you want to do it well. Right. Solve and check. Exactly. Right. And and that is an art in itself. It's a process (laughs) in itself and a discipline as well. A discipline is so important. Exactly. So what you're doing today is helping business owners and business leaders. That's why I love having you on this program. Yes. Because you see it and you see how the connection of energy to help people that are trying to develop connections in the community. Right. They're trying to grow their businesses. Yep. They're trying to create new energy as far as commerce, economic development. Right. And you really stand for helping bring those businesses along to say, right. here's what Aspire Johnson County. And the, um, I'm not going to say it right. I'm just going to say Aspire Johnson County. <laughs> okay. Well, we can expand upon that here. <laughs> That's right. Yes. And um, economic development and Chamber Alliance and all those things, all those things that yes. are, are packed into right. what you're doing today. Yeah. So talk to us about, you know, we've grown. Talk to us about the growth in Aspire Johnson County. I think at the moment we're about 746 members at the, you know, as of today. And so we're seeing substantial growth in the impact. It's a team effort, as we know. So moving forward, we really have to realize it takes multiple talents to bring this organization, in this case, to be successful. Mm-hmm. But what I have found is that, and I think I'm going to quote Socrates, I believe, <laughs> but he said years and years ago, centuries ago, that every person has a season of life. When you're starting out and out of in, into your career, you learn to grow and develop in your career. You And you have that 15, 20-year window in which you're developing and, and actually making hay while the sun is shining. But then there's that season of life, which is where I find myself in, you know, that 55 and over, where you really want to give back to the community. And I've been doing that now for a number of years. I've been blessed to be able to do that. So here I am trying to help businesses, helping business owners, organizations, to be able to help develop themselves to their fullest potential. But the key is, I look at myself not as a promoter, not as a marketer, a salesperson, but rather I look at myself as an educator. Mm -hmm. As I try to educate people about Aspire Johnson County, what we do, how we can provide assistance and such. And if you look at it from their paradigm, at the end of the day, the business owner, the organization says, yeah, we need to pursue this. Hi, this is Melanie Ake. 
When you visit everydayleaders.com, you'll find valuable resources to become a better leader in your life. Women's leadership programs, including Top Floor Women, our monthly networking events, corporate workshops, and strategic business coaching services. Discover classes and products to develop yourself, including our morning leadership devotionals. Don't forget, order one of my inspirational books, sign up for classes, or pick up some gear in the Leader Store. Listen to the Everyday Business Leaders podcast, apply to be a guest in our studio, or even sponsor your own commercial advertisement. Contact us today at everydayleaders.com. I'm going to give you some credit, though, because I know okay, you're pretty you. humble okay. about the things that you're also involved in. That's not just, okay, I am in this season of life to give back, right. but you also are committed. You're not the person that says, I don't really have to do anything, mm-hmm. but you are involved in so many organizations. Yeah. You're on so many boards, which also give people access exactly. right, to things that they need right. and the people that they need to have yeah. access to. So talk to me about, I know... I can't even, I'm not even going to name them because I'll forget one, but talk to me about the things that you're involved in, in the community, the boards and the meetings and the, just the community development. Well, I'm a firm believer in the biblical mandate to who much is given, much is expected. My wife and I, my family, we've been blessed over the years. And so I've been convicted of that over the, over the growth of my own career and wanting to give back and look at opportunities that come to my feet. Now, I don't tend to jump into everything that comes my way, but I look and see what is the cause, what is the passion, what is the drive, and does this align up with who God has made me to be? And if that all lines up, then I consider, and so yes, I've been on a number of boards, have had, and many of them have had significant impact for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. And so I've been able to work with other great board members. I've learned a lot. And I've sat around the table to where I was not the smartest guy in the room, which is always where you want to be. (laughs) And I've learned a lot to help develop that organization, develop my leadership skills on a personal level so I can continue to transfer that knowledge and emotion and passion to others. Mm -hmm. And and you look at David Maurer when you walk into a room. You feel your energy, first of all, because you're always thinking about, who can I connect? Yes. What can I do to add value? And that's just how you show up. So it's so appreciated. Well, thank you. uh, Because I'm like, what did I do without David Maurer in my life? (laughs) Well, I'm sure you would have gotten by just quite well without me, but thank you for the kind words. And I think we can say that about so many others. And I know myself, I'm sure sitting across from you as you're acknowledging with a nod, others have invested in my life. And it's kind of that pay it forward, give back, whatever you want to call it, but we have to do that. Mm -hmm. And we do it with our children probably more than anyone, but we do it with our neighbors and our church, uh, church worshipers that we, we, we worship together with and others in the community. And that is key. That is significant to be able to do that. Mm. Talk to me. You just hit the next question before I, you teed it up perfectly. When we talk about mentorship, things that we know that we need to pass on, Mm -hmm. who was Mm. your, who was one of the mentors that really changed your life that gave you that perspective? Not, not a kick in the pants to say, well, just the encouraged you. Yeah. First of all, my parents, mm-hmm. I think that would be the first element. My father and mother always pushed me to go beyond the norm and such. My dad wanted me to go to West Point. That did not work out, <laughs> but at the end of the day, everything fell into place for me. So you have, you know, my parents for, and then, A gentleman, actually, one of my first flight instructors, Tom Tyner, uh, he put things in perspective for me to put, you know, things, events that I was facing with aviation, say, don't worry about it. If something happens and you cannot pass the test or whatever, there's still going to be tomorrow. And so gaining a good, healthy perspective of life Mm -hmm. was key. And you move on, professors and, you know, in my, at Franklin College, I mean, my professors, be at a small liberal arts college, they invested in me. And that's something you really do get at a small school. If it weren't for them, I'm not so sure I would have ever graduated. But they did push me and they did kick me in the seat of the pants. So those are the kind of individuals that move on and continue to help me grow. And and again, I have a dear friend of mine named Mark Snow from a spiritual mentoring standpoint, a friend for almost 25 years. 
he has challenged me in so many other ways because he's a not only a Navy was former Navy pilot, Naval Academy, but he also had theological training. So he brought a lot of the components that were interesting in my life into play to help mentor me and challenge me in so many areas. Well, and these are the reasons why you're such a great leader in our community, to help people see what they may never be able to right. see. Right? Exactly. Um, and I hear people say all the time, oh, David Maurer signed me up for the chamber. Well, <laughs> because <laughs> because you see like, hey, you will have resources that you yeah. may not know exist. Right. And, and that's really important, right? And so the next part is like, how do we how do we cultivate that relationship so that we can make sure that all of these resources are right. talked about? And you guys are doing some amazing things Aspire is, uh, yeah. with education. Yep. And so being part of this community, what do you think one of the things that you would like to see happen for business owners? What, what would be one of those things that you say, maybe it's a gap, maybe somebody yep. can create a solution. What, what is on your heart? I think what happens with so many individuals, they think they know it all. And I think there has to be a humility to say, hey, I have a lot to learn. Mitch Daniels, we've, I've sat through two of his commencement ceremonies with our children graduating from, from school. And he always th- struck a chord saying, I realize how much I don't know. Mm-hmm. And so you see a, a qualified individual such as Mitch Daniels stating that. Man, we all really would pale in that statement and trying to learn, trying to improve upon. But you have to do that when you have respect for each other and you can listen to each other. That's a key in, in any relationship. So get involved, right? So right. you can know what's happening. Yes. Get involved in the newsletter, get involved in the community, get involved in the coffee connections. Right. And yeah. and start to come to some of these um, other elevated conversations that we're having from meetings from community economic development and the schools, exactly. right? The school system. And, you know, to, to kind of uh, give a shout out, John, Leadership Johnson County is another great opportunity as well, where people, our community upcoming leaders are learning to be groomed as well. Mm-hmm. I have had numerous individuals who have been a part of that. And now today they give a lot of credit to their personal development excuse me, because of leadership, Johnson County. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. All right, David, before we close, is there anything that you want to send a message to the business leaders and the community leaders, kind of from your heart of what's going to happen the last part of this year, get ready for 2024. Yeah. What's a David Maurer moment? I think you need to, individuals need to realize that we're never going to live in a perfect world. So how do we navigate? How do we survive in that world of, brokenness in that world of imperfection. Economies will come and go. Wars, rumors of wars will play out. We're seeing that now, sad to say. We always have to be ready and have a true focus on who we are as an individual, have a good theological standing on under our role in this world, and realize in spite of it all, God's in charge. Mm. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for watching this segment. This is wonderful to spend some time with you. Please come back. Well, you know my number, so give me a call. (laughs) Okay. Thank you. So we've just heard from David Maurer. He is a leader that knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. And this has been unbelievable. If you miss any of this, grab your notebooks and go back and watch, because I know you'll want to relearn and re-listen to this. So thank you for watching Everyday Business Leaders. I hope you are inspired to think and grow and think differently about how your business can be involved in our community. Remember, the journey of growth and innovation never ends, and it's our mission to keep bringing you the best insights from our local community. Stay tuned for more episodes filled with wisdom, innovation, and inspiration. This is Melanie Ake signing off from JP the Geek Studio where better IT service is just a call away. You know what they say, own it, secure it, protect it. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss one of these episodes. Everyday Leaders helps you to develop strategies to become a better leader in your life. Remember, it's not what you do in a day. It's what you do every day that makes the most impact.